Hey everybody, i uh, just making sure I got sound. It looks like everything is good. If you're here, just let me know by saying a hi or a comment. Go over and register at StreamYard through uh, uh, YouTube or Facebook. It's in the description so I can see your name. So Cynthia Allen, super glad to be back with you. You're probably used to me sharing mostly about the Feldenkrais work, but I have something that I want to share today that's related, for sure related, but um, it's a little bit different. And that is to answer this question of what is it that your bones do for you? What do your bones do for you? You know, and what then can you do for your bones? It's a really big issue because mostly we only really think about our bones as holding us maybe up. And even then we're kind of weak on that because we've been taught a lot about our muscles holding us up. And of course, it's a combination of the bony structure, knowing how to be stacked and the musculature, knowing how to help that happen. And then beyond that, we don't think much about our bones until we start talking about things like osteoarthritis uh, or eventually bone on bone or spinal stenosis or osteoporosis. But those things are all big. They're all important for sure. But now we know that bones are informing our uh, nervous system, our emotional life, our emotional life. So there's some research looking at bones as being a part of the endocrine system and the impact that the bone health has on our emotional life. Pretty wild, eh? And then we have, of course, an issue that most of us learned about, but then we kind of forget about, which is that the bones provide minerals for the rest of our body. So it's constantly in this process of churning out things that we need for our organs, for our uh, bloodstream in order to be healthy. So there's a lot that our bones do for us and super, super important that we know how to invest in them. So I'm really excited to tell you that we've got a new series, free series coming up. It starts actually in just two days. Um, so I hope that you sign up and you participate in it. The first one of the series I will be doing, which is stand tall, don't fall. So we'll be looking at this whole issue of balance and uprightness and posture and what in the world does that all mean? And how can we, how can we make the most out of balance and posture? And um, I think there'll be some really cool bones for life movement processes. I'm going to give you an introduction to a couple of bones for life movement processes, as well as introduce you to research around balance that I was a part of in relationship to bones for life. And then on the second session, Brian Shercliffe, uh, who is an excellent uh, bones for life teacher will be joining us. And he's going to be talking about how the original yoga and bones for life work together. So Brian has written books about yoga, researched a lot about the uh, roots of yoga. He's a 500 hour yoga teacher. He's taught many, 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 trained many, many, many yogis and yoga teachers, as well as many, many uh, Bones for Life uh, students and teachers. So he's going to have a great session for you. He's going to share something also to free up the neck, uh, the shoulders and the neck, which will be very novel for most of you. So maybe all of you. And if it's not novel, you've done it before, you will be glad to do it again because it gives you a nice retouch in for what the possibilities are. Very different than anything I think that you would find in yoga, but certainly as Brian will show you, highly compatible, highly compatible. And then the third session is, is entitled, Is Bones for Life the Antidote to Osteoporosis? So we'll be digging into the details around osteoporosis. Uh, again, I'll share some movement processes with you, but also trying to help you understand why uh, Bones for Life might be helpful, or is it not, or what is helpful. We'll, we'll look at what are some options around addressing this uh, challenge of osteoporosis, which by the way, we are all going to be diagnosed with if we live long enough. If we're so blessed to live long enough, we will be diagnosed with it. So, hey, we got to think about what are all the options that we have related to it. So 
very pleased to um, be offering that new program for you that starts this Thursday in the links, uh, in the, I'm sorry, in the description, there is a link to how, to how to register. It's a free series. You can do it live or on replay. Now, who is it for? Well, I really have worked hard to make it interesting for people who are sitting around saying, man, I don't think my balance is as good as it used to be. Uh, I don't feel like I stand up tall and I want to be a little bit more erect. I want to have better posture. I want to do something around my health of my joints because I'm struggling with osteoarthritis or I've been diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis. But it's also super valuable for anybody who is thinking to themselves, you know, I'm a movement professional. I'm a rehab professional. I'm a yogi. I'm a Pilates instructor. I'm a Tai Chi. I'm a, a Feldenkrais practitioner. I'm a massage therapist. I'm uh, a personal trainer. I'm a physical therapist, occupational therapist, acupuncturist that we've actually had as well. And it will give you an idea of, of uh, some new ways that you can work with people as they age, new ways that you can work with people as they age, because uh, as you age, your clientele ages with you. And so you know, oftentimes you may be having your own challenges in movement while your clients are having challenges in movement. And we need bite-sized ways to work with uh, our clients, our patients, our students, that is safe, uh, that uh, and still challenges them enough and, and connects deeply into the neuroplastic learning system so that they can also excel uh, and continue to claim the power of their skeleton for their own health and well being. So, both groups of people, I think you'll find it very valuable. We'll do lots of questions and answers at the end of the session. So if you've got specific questions you want to ask, you can come and ask them there towards the end. I hope you sign up. I hope to see you there. We'll be doing it on Zoom live for thousand people who sign in. So, hey, for sure, uh, sign up and sign in early. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in for a few minutes to talk with me. And I hope to see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.